One of the favorite shots that we like to see Gary hit is the stinger. Gary, well, talk us through the stinger and how you're hitting it. Yeah. Growing up, I've always hit the golf ball a long way, but when I was in college, I had no idea where it was going. So I was working with Randy Smith at the time, and he's like, we gotta find some way to get it in the fairway. Tiger Woods really made this shot famous, but the stinger's been a huge shot for me, really my whole career. Um, allows me to get the golf ball in play, yeah. and more than anything, then I can use my link from there. But a big key for me is, I need to open my stance. I'm gonna, I wanna trap it. So I'm gonna move the ball back. And when I move it back, I have to open my stance up. So I'm gonna open my stance up, move the ball back. And then the biggest key for me is I wanna hold the back. So I want that crown C, I want that logo at the target as long as I can, which is gonna allow me to trap it, keep it down um, on target as long as I can. But it comes out hot and it comes out low. It's, it's been a great shot for me that's really propelled me on shorter golf courses where I'm not gonna hit driver, I can really get the golf ball in play and yeah. rely on my iron yeah. play. Now the ball flights down and therefore doesn't have as much time to move. The other thing Gary's talking about there is he's moved the ball back in his stance, which actually gets the club coming to the inside. That's why he's moved his alignment more to the left to kind of offset that ball position. So, perfect. Let's see you hit one here. So move the golf ball back, open the stance up. Crown C at the target as long as I can. Wow, fantastic. So it's about 15, 20 feet up in the air, not a ton of spin on it. That's gonna cheat any wind that it's got. Really, really good. Yeah, thank you.